Hi there, my name is Eric Mabo. I am a practicing physician and I'm an investor in uh, Binano Genomics. I just want to give this presentation after I watched the symposium uh, by Binano Genomics on the future of uh, uh, cytogenetics. That is the uh, next generation cytogenetics uh, symposium. First of all, please uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, make sure you click on the notification button because I'll be releasing a lot of videos on Binano, a lot of uh, biotech stocks. Like the video, I think uh, YouTube likes that. And please uh, comment below as appropriate. First of all, I want to start with a disclaimer. I, do straight, I, I trade stocks and options. This video, however, is only for entertainment and educational purposes. This is not financial advice or medical advice. Please make sure that you uh, consult the appropriate professionals. So Binano Genomics claims to be creating a market, claims to be a market leader in cyto, in uh, digital cytogenics. They have a product called the Binano Sapphire System. They also sell their services uh, uh, as diagnosis services through the line a gene business. And they also have Binano certified labs that they are working with. And that's how they're going to increase the sales of their uh, services. So during this presentation, a lot of the specialists were who uh, participated in the symposium. Uh, the, on the very first day, they talked about prenatal and the genetic diseases. This is a very big market. Uh, the market for, for, as a matter of fact, when you think about rare diseases, a rare disease is described as, is defined as a disease where one person out of 200,000 people are affected. And if you think about it, there are more than 7,000 rare diseases. So in the United States alone, you have more than 30 million people who have rare diseases. We don't really know how to treat these diseases. We are treating them blindly as of now. And for us to really know the genetic makeup of that, that will be very important. On day two, they talked about uh, the blood cancers, which are the leukemias. And cytogenetics, there is, uh, there are already standard tests for, for there are already standard cytogenic uh, tests that they do right now. The Sapphire system is able to replace this test and is more cost effective, is faster, and is far much better. Uh, on the very last day, they talked about infectious disease. Uh, you also have uh, some other applications for this uh, digital cytogenetics in autism, in uh, neurologic diseases, in personalized medicine. And uh, we haven't even talked about plants and animal research. So the market is really huge for this. Uh, during the whole next generation cytogenics, uh, a lot of the specialists, they focus on presenting their validating studies. So the, in the validating study, they are basically trying to show that the, bino, the binano system is able to replace uh, the first three this the first three um, um, the first three diagnosis methods that you have here, which are karyotyping, karyotyping, uh, microarray, and fish. The karyotyping takes a lot of time because you have to do cell culture. Sometimes you may not be very successful, especially if you have um, solid tumors. Microarray is more automated, but it costs about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. So the so you know so the cost is not small, and also we talk about fish. So just imagine that you can combine all these three tests and run them for about $500. And we have not even talked about southern blood, which includes radio, uh, radioactive material. You have to do x-rays and all that. And a lot of the new lab personnel, they don't even know how to do it. All these tests can be done in one with the Bind Nano Sapphire system. This is amazing. A big part of the diagnostic challenge is that the genome variations in different diseases are not always the same. So let's say... Uh, you have two patients. One patient has lobular breast cancer. The other patient also has lobular breast cancer. Even though both patients have the same type of breast cancer, their cancers may have different types of genetic makeups. So if you give chemotherapy to this one patient, it may not work very well in the other patient. So it's very important for you to actually understand the genetic variations. On the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to see the single nucleotide polymorphisms, the so-called SMPs. Uh, this is where you have just one base pair that is off. For example, in sickle cell disease, uh, the sequencing system, the next generation sequencing systems from uh, Illumina and uh, uh, PacBio, they are able to pick these up very nicely. BioNano is not able to do that. 
However, when you look at these ones in the middle, this is where you have uh, hundreds of base pairs, to millions of base pairs. These are like long trans of DNA. These are, this uh, BioNano Sapphire is able to pick this up very well. And that is what the big deal here. That is, that is why this is uh, such a big deal. As you can see on this here, uh, they are stating on this slide, this is a slide from Bionano stating that sequences is not an alternative to Sapphire. So if you think about it, most of the labs that ha already have uh, sequencing technology, gene sequencing technology, they're going to have to pick up Bionano too. And in many cases, I believe that they'll actually probably start up with Bionano and then go down and do some sequencing. So Bionano has a huge market because Bionano is really able to detect all detect most of the large structural variations which cannot be detected by uh, pack bio and the other players so the bionano system the workflow is pretty simple you take a sample you extract the dna you put it in a machine that looks pretty much like a desktop printer it reads the dna and then it gives you some data that is analyzed so bionano sells you both the consumables and also the data analysis so this company the biology company and also a data analysis company so the market is huge here these are just some of the big institutions around the world uh, that are using the system and they are far, there are many more and growing really rapidly. This slide is also from Bionano. They are estimating that the market is close to 4 billion annually. It's a huge market. So just think about it. If, if Bionano can capture just 10% of this market or 20% of the market, just imagine how much their revenue would be. So the opportunity here is big, in my opinion. Please make sure you do your own research. I'm just talking to myself. Uh, this is another slide from Bionano. We believe that Bionano is alone addressing uh, structural variants and digital cytogenics. So at this point in time, they are the only company that does uh, gene mapping using optical gene mapping. Uh, I think there are some other companies that would do gene mapping in another way, but they are not yet public and they are not as big as Bionano. They are not really doing as much as Bionano. They don't, I don't think they have that much. They don't have that many publications as Binano already has. So, uh, who are the guys behind this team? The CEO is a PhD uh, from Caltech. Uh, the chief financial officer, Christopher, was recruited from one of the companies that Tesla bought. The chief medical officer who actually ran this symposium is a very smart scientist. And actually, she worked with another uh, system to help them get uh, FDA approval. So, she's a good resource. Uh, for this uh, company. She actually just joined them recently. Uh, they have a lot of new recruits that came in recently, like the chief financial officer, the chief medical officer, all these people were recruited uh, within the past few months. I want you to pay attention to uh, the person, the David Barker, uh, bottom left of my screen. Uh, he is the chairman of Bionano. He's actually the former chief scientific officer of Illumina. So that tells you a lot. So let's go into the financials for Binano. So if you look at the first line here, which talks about product revenue, the product revenue is actually decreasing because in the middle of 2020, they decided to change their, their, their business model from selling product to selling services. So if you look at the second line, the service revenue is actually increasing. And on the first line, the product revenue is decreasing. Uh, this is from the last... Um, last filing with the SEC. They actually sent out a press release a few days ago stating that their fourth quarter revenue for 2020 is actually 50% higher than what they had in 2019. So it looks like this company is growing really fast here. So why all this current hype? If you look at this chart here, this stock was trading for 71 cents uh, Christmas Eve 2020. Today, as of January 15, the stock is trading at 8 dollars 40 that's more than 10x already uh, some of us still believe that the stock has a long way to go i bought it at about 150 so you know i've had a pretty good profit already but i believe that the stock has a long way to go and i believe that this stock is going to hit a hundred dollars within the next uh two uh to three years so what happened on december 23rd Binano sent out a press release stating that uh, there is a study that compared the Pack Bio system to the Binano Sapphire system, which showed that the Pack Bio system was able to detect only about 72% of the large structural variants that the Binano system could detect. 
And also, the pack bio system would cost about ten thousand dollars to do what the bag nano system can do for five hundred dollars. So that's a pretty big claim. So after that, there was a discussion, and actually on Twitter too, uh, one of the um, analysts from uh, Ark Invest he uh, sent out a tweet that he would like to talk to the CEO of uh, of uh, Binano. Uh, I think one of the big YouTubers. Um, dead inside i like him you know i picked up a few stocks from him i subscribed to his channel i encourage you guys to go subscribe to his channel uh he contacted the the analyst from from uh, arc invest and he came out he published a video after that it looks like the arc invest analyst asked him to take down the video so he took down the video my understanding my i believe that probably the Arc Invest analysts did not have enough information to actually evaluate the company, so he did not like the way the video came out. Because according to what uh, Dead Inside said in his video, which I watched that video before it was taken down, uh, was that he was not very bullish about the company because um, the Arc Invest analysts thought that this was just meant for uh, research purposes. But based on what I followed up on this symposium. This is game-changing technology. This is going to be used for clinical diagnosis uh, down the road in, uh, in very short order. And uh, when, you look about, when you think about it, the total addressable market for clinical diagnostics is very, is very large. So I think this is a big opportunity. Like I said, you know, I'm talking to myself. Make sure that you do your own due diligence. So what I did was when I read this press review, there's a link to the article below. Look at the bottom of the screen here. There's a link to the article. So I went to the article to see. And when you go to the article, you're going to see that this article was published by the Human Genome Structural Variation Consortium. Uh, this is not a group sponsored by BioNano. This is actually a group of scientists from many countries around the world. And they have funding from the NIH in the United States, from the German government, from the Spanish government, the Chinese government. Uh, some of the guys who participated in this study are actually employees and shareholders of Bionano and also employees and shareholders of Pacific Biosciences. So this is not an article that is sponsored by uh, Bionano Genomics. However, I'm going to say that this is a preprint, which means that the article has not yet been peer reviewed. So if you think about it, once this article becomes peer reviewed and they publish it, guess what? Park Bio may send out another press release that, oh, they have a peer reviewed article now confirming what they said before. That will be another catalyst for this talk. So let's talk about the total addressable market a little bit. In the United States alone, the projected new cancer cases for 2020 were 1.9 million. 1.9 million. So think about it. If for if you want if you if 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 clinicians have to do uh, cytogenics on only 10 or 20 percent of all these cancer cases, and then you have to start with optical gene marking mapping, just imagine how much Binano is going to make from that. And then we've not even talked about uh, prenatal testing in high-risk pregnancies. We've not talked about the undiagnosed diseases network, as I mentioned before. Uh, you're talking about 30 million people in the United States that have a so-called rare disease. So you're talking about a very huge market. And this goes into the whole idea of personalized medicine. Right now, if a patient has hypertension, diabetes, or breast cancer, they all have standard treatments that we give to everybody. But a lot of times, we don't know if these treatments will actually work. So for you to, to be able to do, get a, a personalized, accurate diagnosis and actually uh, develop an individualized treatment strategy, you have to use cytogenics to get to that point. So if you think about that, this is really a big uh, market that we are just at the beginning of it. So that's why I believe that this stock is going to hit $100 easy within the next few years. Uh, one other thing that uh, I've seen a lot of comments about is, uh, do you need FDA approval? Okay, so let's talk about FDA approval. I would first of all say that most of the devices used by, use most of the devices from Illumina and PacBio, they, I, don't, I don't think that they have FDA approval. So they are being used by laboratories in what they call 
a laboratory developed test. These are tests that are developed by the lab. They are regulated by the FDA, but they do not need FDA approval. So pretty much what the lab has to do is the lab has to run a validation test or a validation study to show that the test that they are providing to their patients is actually measuring what they are supposed to be measuring. So if you say you want to be measuring structural variances, you have to prove that you're measuring structural variances. So uh, structural variation. So that is actually what a lot of the scientists who participated in the Next Generation uh, Cytogenic Symposium, they were presenting their uh, validation studies. And once they complete these validation studies, a lot of these tests using the Binano system will go into effect and this will be part of regular clinical care. That's how the market is going, really going to grow big. I hope this video helped you in making a decision uh, whether you want to invest in Binano or not. Like I said, I'm personally invested in Binano. I'm going to hold my stock for a long time. Uh, this is not financial advice. Make sure you do your research and uh, make a decision for yourself. Thank you very much. And may God.